Hi, in this video we're going to take a look how to install our plugin in Windows and Mac platform. But uh, let's kick off with the Windows version and see how it goes. So first of all, um, let's say I want to install the Access Virus AG plugin. Uh, I go to Shop and then drop down menu brings up the plugins. And once you click that, it opens this page where you can see all of the plugins uh, which we've done to date. So let's go the to the virus AG. Loading up. Okay, there we go. So let's say um, I want to get the Windows 64 bit demo. Uh, you can just simply click download file and it will download the plugin into your uh, downloads folder, like so. Uh, if you're looking for a 32-bit demo, you can find it from the Downloads tab. And here you go. So you can download the 32-bit demo from here. If you've already purchased the product, um, please log in from my account. And once you enter the page and click Downloads tab, you can see the full version downloads right here. Okay, so let's run the installer. Let's put it in in the same folder where the package is. And there we go. Let's run it. Read through the end user license agreement for, for the plugin. And also the readme file, which contains a little bit of uh, instructions of how to use the uh, plugin where to place the patches and license, etc. Also, we've got a little bit of a change log here, so you can see what we've done recently. And then we can go to choose the installation path, which is for me uh, program files, Steinberg, VST plugins, Mystery Islands music. And we highly recommend to put all of the plugins in, in this same folder so that they can be easily accessed from your DAW. Okay, click next and install and it's completed. It gives you a little bit of a scratch of uh, how to configure your virus before connecting with the DAW. But uh, we'll get to that in another video where we explain how to configure your MIDI routings inside Windows and Mac to make the most out of the plugin. So let's finish that one and let's move on to the Mac video. All right, so now that we are on our Mac OS platform, let's go to the plugin again. And um, if you click on the front page, uh, any of these logos, it will get you to a little briefing page about the plugins, what they can do, and how they work, and what, what's the demo limitations, etc. So, again, let's go for the Virus HC plugin. And you can find the demo from here. It's right below the uh, kind of an introduction section. So, you can download the 64 bit demo here or you can go to Downloads tab and find the 32-bit demo from here. Either one, so there we go. Um, again, if you have already purchased the plugin, go to My Account, then log in and come back to the product page and click on the Downloads tab and you can see the full version downloads right here. Also, you can find the downloads from, from the Downloads page, which is on the main top menu. So let's run the installer and uh, see how it goes. It's pretty straightforward. Once you download the zip file, just extract there and double click on the installer and click continue. Obviously, we get a readme file again to go through some instructions about the setup and the change log so you can see what we've updated recently. 
end user license agreement, read that through, and obviously accept if, if it's all good for you. Then we go to install, input our password, and we are ready to go. Right, install completed. Again, we get the instructions to set up the virus or any other synth uh, which you downloaded the demo or the full version for. So close that. Let's move it to the bin. And um, yeah, let's take a look how to configure MIDI interfaces and MIDI ports in Windows and Mac. So that's going to be the next video. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.